And welcome back to another Coach's Corner. I'm Rick Silvestrini. We're talking men's golf today with Drake golf coach Matt Lewis. And Matt, despite the weather, it is spring golf season. And I know you guys got underway down in Florida with a match play event. Mm -hmm. um, how did that go for your first event of the year? You know, it was really exciting. It was an awesome opportunity. Uh, it was a new event for us. Uh, Ball State hosted. It was eight teams, all northern schools, kind of in the same boat. Um, where we're trying to knock some rust off and uh, kind of start off the season to uh, really start to get our games in shape. Got to bring six guys, which is one more than normal. Okay. Opportunity to um, really kind of see who's going to be starting our season, uh, our top five. And uh, felt like we played well and uh, definitely a good experience for us. Well, and for those who know golf, match plays a little different format, one that you typically don't see a lot in college where just two players are playing each other. Talk about how that went for your team. Yeah, we definitely talk strategy. Um, and some of the guys had played at least a few events, you know, at match play, and a couple of guys had not. So it was good for us to get on the same page to think about what we really want to try to do as far as approach. It really is a one-on-one -on -one situation, playing one hole at a time, but really just trying to better your opponent per hole. The nice thing about that was, you know, the guys are really consumed with score. Uh, this was an opportunity just to play. If you had a bad hole, a bad shot yeah. in February when there's rust, right. <laughs> it, it didn't matter, you know. And uh, there were several instances where I think it really helped where guys had a bad hole or bad shot and they could refocus pretty quickly and just really work on competing and scoring and trying to beat their opponent, which was obviously a fun uh, competition for them and I think they really enjoyed the format really mm -hmm. just kind of going one-on-one -on -one. right we're always playing the golf course but now we get to play an opponent a anything uh, surprise you or stand out from that first weekend I thought um, the biggest surprise was how consistent everyone played I mean uh, you know we ranged from the holes that we played anywhere from 200 to four over from from everyone from every round so uh, the the depth was th there for all six guys you know I think that's one of our strengths as far as mm -hmm. a team you know, we clearly have a one, two, three, four, and we got to set it up by our lineup, by our rankings. But, you know, our five and six are just as competitive as our one and two. And in a team format like this, it definitely showed, um, you know, that, that it was true. It was just good that everyone competed, uh, played hard, and really got into the matches and uh, never gave up. Mm -hmm. Now you're back on the road this weekend going to Arizona this time. Talk about that tournament a little bit. Yeah, so it's an event that we've played the last few years. So four out of the five guys have played the course. Um, It'll be a course that's pretty scorable. It's a desert course, but the desert's not overly penalizing, so you can spray it a little bit. Uh, the par fives are pretty gettable. Uh, scores will be typically pretty low. Scoring average 72, 73. Mm -hmm. So it won't be uncommon for guys to shoot three, four, five, six, seven hundred par. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to make a lot of birdies. Greens are only pretty good. Uh, conditions are only ideal, 70s and no wind. Um, 18 teams, I believe, uh, and uh, several. Power Conference schools, uh, Missouri State's there from our conference, and then some other schools that we don't get to see. So definitely kind of a good opportunity to get out and really kind of test, you know, the rust is off their games, right. now test their scoring opportunities to shoot as low as they can. So definitely the guys are excited to get back and play a course that they know if they play well, they can score well on. You know, last question, when, when it comes to teams up north this time of year, I mean, it's it's tough to practice. You're doing a lot of mm -hmm. indoor work. Uh, so it had to make you feel good, like you said, when you had a lot of consistency in that mm -hmm. first event, because it is tough to practice this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, the biggest thing for us is our ball striking is really pretty solid coming out of the spring, because we can really simulate that inside. It's the 50 yards on in, it's the touch, mm -hmm. it's the feel. It's the half shots, the partial shots, and it's the com competing. I mean, really, they haven't played in a tournament in three or four months. So, you know, not only are they, you know, scoring, you know, rusty, they're also competing rusty. Sure. So really just trying to be in those situations where they're feeling the nerves and the pressure. So we try to simulate that quite a bit in practice with competitions and contests amongst each other. So when they are competing, you know, and, and they've got three or four holes left and they're playing well or they're struggling and they're fighting for a couple shots, they're used to that situation. Mm -hmm. So definitely you know, uh, this will be a good step going forward. I think, you know, in years past, this has been our first event. So I think this now being our second event right. this year, I think, you know, we have high expectations to, to score really well. Well, uh, should be a fun uh, weekend down in Arizona. Enjoy the weather Will do. and enjoy the competition. We'll talk to you down the road. Sounds good. Thank okay. you. Okay, that's Matt Lewis, the head men's golf coach here at Drake University. I'm Rick Silvestrini, and this has been another Coach's Corner.